Julie Swartz captured in Washington. I knew it about time. Hello, everybody. My name's James. This is Global Spy. It is our sponsored game for the week. We do it from time to time. We always tell you up front because it's the right thing to do. Now, this is clearly not a game about fancy graphics or rendering engines or anything like that. No, this is a game about memory and about logic and about pathfinding, specifically finding the people and objects that are scattered around the world using a mixture of deduction and the Spy Intelligence Network. This text that's hovering around the middle of the screen here, something silver spotted in Sydney, some kind of chest in Dallas, all this kind of stuff. This is a little network feed we're getting from like Spy HQ, if you like. Uh, and that's giving me clues as to where to look. However, you can see that the cities and the countries are changing seemingly at random when I touch them. That's not the way it works. Actually, everything is interconnected. I'm currently in Mexico City and it shows you here I can branch off to Vancouver, Rio, Manila, and then which cities I will then encounter beyond that. And so if I want to go to Dallas, Dallas will give me access to Washington DC, which gives me access to New York and so on and so on. So you have to work out using this ever-changing map uh, and web how to get to the person you need to reach. It's quite tricky. It's very taxing on the old brains because you're trying to not just remember like one overlaid map. They only ever show you a small area. So this is only ever like, right, here's one point and then there's three points going out from about four locations. And then you need to move to the next area in order to see what the next connections are. So you can't just kind of zoom back out and see the entire world and calculate your next move. You have to do it bit by bit, which is kind of tricky. I don't need Camilla Hernandez, I don't need Jim Green, I need a blue globe. So I'm looking for someone to say, we've spotted something blue in X country or X city, and that'll allow me to, to jump to it. Blue spotted in Antarctica, right. Jump to the map. How do we get to Antarctica? Uh, Nairobi, Atlanta, in Buenos Aires. No, I need to get north. Uh, so, uh, Buenos Aires to... Yeah, okay, so Buenos Aires to Antarctica. Something blue. Blue globe, yes, nailed it. You see? Actual deduction. I've only got 50 seconds left. I need to find a red ring. And keep your eye on spy intelligence, please, people, and then shout to me from the future when you're watching this video. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to find it. Otherwise, it's just guesswork. It's just jumping around and seeing what leads where. Manila, no, Singapore, no, Sydney, no. Something red spotted in Paris. Paris, quick, go to the map. Uh, how do we get to Paris from here? There's no obvious route, so you now I need to find something that leads us roughly to Europe. Singapore, Manila, Manila, Tokyo, Beijing, Antarctica. I'll go to Wellington, let's say, and then Wellington, Sydney, let's go to Buenos Aires. Oh, nuts, I didn't go to Buenos Aires. Oh, no, I'm, no, I'm lost. Wait, Mexico City, stop, stop. Manila, Dallas, Washington, Tokyo, North Pole, Toronto. Uh, let's go to Rio. And I've forgotten where I was even trying to go to. Paris, wasn't I? I was going to Paris. Buenos Aires. There's nothing remotely... Oh, Rome. Hang on. Cairo takes me to Rome. Does Rome give me access to Paris? Yes, it does. Rome, Paris, the Red Ring. Oh, made it. Nice, 15 seconds remaining. So the score for each level is determined by how much time is left at the end of your session. So I only get 15 points for that. Whereas if you did it all in 10 seconds, you know, I would have got like 190. Okay, in the next mission, I've got three people to find and three objects. Let's get this done. We're gonna start out with Brett McKay and a red globe. I, I was reading the names of the person underneath and I know that that spy thing told me there was something red spotted somewhere and I missed it. Mm. Let's have a look in Sydney, New Delhi, New Delhi. So, Sir so, Suri so Chang, we're looking for Brett McKay. Brett McKay is the name. We see a lot of stuff like this appearing in things like our Big Indie Pitch, which is that show that we do with a kind of speed dating, uh, almost like, you know, oh, Red Globe, nailed it. Uh, the voice or something like that where you, people come up and they show you their stuff and you only have about like you know five minutes to talk to them and then we get to choose winners and it's a way of us seeing like very small niche indie games that are created by tiny little teams um, that may have value to, to certain people um, out on the world and it's kind of like very rarely do you get super slick looking presentations but what you might get is an interesting idea and then that's kind of a good jumping off point for Sven in New Delhi. No, don't need that. I need a purple bell. What did you call me? Etc. Lol. Uh, Washington, D.C. No. Some vase spot in the North Pole. That's no use. Ah, Brett. Got you. Brett McKay is nabbed. That gives us Melissa Kerr and a purple bell. I still need... Um, I need stuff from the spy network. 
Suri, no, Su right, no. And it can change really quickly like that, so it's not like a regular speed that it scrolls through. Sometimes it will just suddenly jump. So you, the information will appear and then it's just gone. <sighs> Ooh. See, the, and now we're getting to the point where there's large chunks of the world that's unoccupied. So you're just kind of scrolling through, desperately looking for someone to appear. Eri has, no, don't need them. Some kind of house. I mean, I imagine there are quite a lot of different houses in that area, just saying. Atlanta, no. Chicago, no. Dallas, no. There's a yellow book, but that's about it. I like how the, someone's prioritizing. We found a yellow pages! It's in Sydney. Mark that on the spy network. It might be useful for, I don't know, spying. Right, something purple spotted in Moscow. This is going to be my last ditch. We've got to get to Moscow. So let's get Sydney, Singapore, New Delhi, and there's not really any good jump straight there. Let's go to Mexico City. And then we need to find our way over to Russia. Tokyo, Vancouver, North Pole. Let's jump to Vancouver. Let's go to Tokyo. And surely from Tokyo we can jump over to Russia. Manila, Singapore, Vancouver, Seoul and Shanghai. Really? Really? Oh wait, Mos Moscow, there we go, there we go. I knew we'd be able to get over there somehow. Purple Bell, yes, you see, you see. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of deduction and uh, map reading there, and we made our way over. Melissa, I've got you as well. Nabbed. Right, now Ms. Zalov. Uh, this is where the other bit of the game comes in. I've seen her. I've seen her pop up numerous times, and I can't remember where she was. A uh, green chest. Yes, now we just need Melissa. Okay, this is good. So, keep your eyes on the left-hand side of the screen. You need to find Melissa. This is, this is me random tapping until she pops up on the side and I get a clue. And then... Even the random tapping is like, I've got to try and remember what I've already tapped on to make it worth my while tapping there in the first place, you know what I mean? Silver, green, no, no, no. 55 seconds, oh no! Ugh! Come on now. Come on now. Billy Horton, nope. Jeff Anderson, nope. This is this is just a video of an, a person insanely tapping <laughs> on city names until something appears. Come on, I need someone spot spot Miss Zulov. Zulazov. She's floating around here somewhere. Washington DC, New York, London, no, Jim Green, no. I've just realized I've been tapping because I'm left-handed. Uh, and I've been covering up the information on the left-hand side, so maybe she's pop- Miss Toronto! Toronto, right, here we go, 16 seconds! Okay, how do we get to Toronto in 16 seconds, in, in as few moves as humanly possible? Um, we're in Manila at the moment, we need to get to Toronto, which is in Canada, so we need to get up to where it says Vancouver. So Mexico City to Vancouver, let's go to Mexico City, quick stop. Uh, we're in Mexico City. Which is the closest jump to Vancouver? It's one jump away. No, it was, did they say Toronto or Vancouver? They said Toronto, didn't they? But it doesn't matter because Vancouver takes us to Toronto, which takes us to Mr. Love, which wins the game! Nine seconds remaining. Spying is hard, people. All right, this is currently available for uh, the iPhone and the iPad. I think it's available for Android as well. First levels are free if you want to give it a try and test your brains. Global Spy is the name. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.